Okay, guys, we're back at the shop. We're uh, machining our cam button. We've already cut uh, just a little under 30 thou off the length of this. We tapered it back. So we've got about 2,000. So we're going to take some more off. We're shooting for uh, about 5 to 10. You always want to add a little bit because by the time you put your gasket sealer on, it absorbs into the gasket. You can get a little more crush than you. So, uh, anyways, we're going to see if we can dial this in. I hope I can get this on uh, um, this is a lot better. Some guys, you know, they take a grinder or whatever they have, but doing the lathe is pretty nice. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> Okay, and we're gonna run this backwards. We're gonna cut off the other side. We're gonna put a little taper in this. Okay, no, no tit on there, so our tool was on center. Kind of nice having a lathe in the machine shop. I'll be back. Okay guys, we're back on our 406. We've got our timing cover back on, we've got our button. And uh, I think you're flexing the covers, what you're doing. So, yeah, just. Yeah, put your hand out. Yeah, you got to watch when you do this. You can flex the cover. There you go. I think you're there. Yeah, I feel it right now. There you go. We're shooting for about somewhere between five and seven thousandths. That way, if it compresses a little bit more and we put our sealer on, we've already compressed the gasket a couple of times. So, once you back it up to zero again, Wayne, let's just show the audience that we got repeatability here. There you go. We're back to zero, dead now. It's got the old Sterrett, LS Sterrett indicator. There you go. Thanks, guys. Kind of stuck oh. on you a little bit, Wayne. Oh, you take, yeah, take might help bolts. if you take all the bolts out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh, that's what we like to see. See, it didn't. We still have a, a slight film of grease on there. Look there, no metal to metal contact. So yeah, we're we're satisfied. <laughs> You can see on our gasket, see we've already got an imprint of our timing cover. We've already compressed the gasket. It's awesome. Okay, there you have it. We've got a retention plate. We've got the aluminum thrust button in there. And this motor has an Urson uh, hydraulic roller with um, Gatorman hydraulic lifters. So so when anytime you use a roller cam, you gotta you got to control your in and out movement on a camshaft and it's a good idea for performance anyways uh, to to minimize uh, spark scatter and things at high rpm it's just a good practice but on a roller cam you have to do it it's not a maybe thing you absolutely have to control the lateral movement with a roller camshaft thank you hey guys we're back we're verifying top dead center with our timing mark there you go can't get any better than that. 
what we like. You want to do this, you want to take the time to do this. And of course our cam's degreed. It's, everything's perfect. Uh, thanks a lot, guys.